Hi guys, welcome back to Ray's Rails. I have a pretty special video to show today. I have been looking for a um, Lino Hudson engine. I do not have one of those in my collection yet. And I kind of gave up looking for the scale Hudson, the 773s. I probably wanted to uh, settle for a 2046, 646, or a 685. And um, my friend called me up uh, a couple weeks ago. I said he was in an estate sale. And there was some Lino trains there. So I took a ride over. Bigger and I'm um, gonna take a look what they had and um, lo and behold what do I find sitting on the couch is a Lionel 773 boy was I ever excited couldn't believe it there it was sitting on the couch and um, I didn't have enough money with me that day and I didn't want to insult the seller so I left went home thought about it and um, returned the next morning and hopefully it would still be sitting on the couch and um, when I showed up, lo and behold, there it was, a 773 with the tender sitting on the couch. So, I'll take, um, show you what I picked up. Um, it's also in the boxes. The boxes are in real nice shape. So, I'm not super familiar with this engine. So, if you want to leave in the comments um, anything important about it or anything I should do or should not do with it, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. So, show you what we have. So we have the, um, it actually came with the New York Centro um, tender. This is the one with the scoop that's uh, backwards on. Um, so that was pretty neat. The box is in real nice condition. The colors are great. All the flaps are um, still on the box. So we're going to bring out the engine and then bring out the tender. So this is the box for the 773. The outside of the box is in real nice condition. I don't see any water damages. I'm not really crazy in the box. I'm more of a, um, uh, not so much of the collector part, I'm more of the operator. So most of my engines, um, I enjoy them. Got the 773. You got the back of the box here. It's, got, it's not totally broken open, but it's been open. So I'll bring it out of the box. It has a real nice insert. The inside of the box um, looks pretty good. It did not come with the shipping box, just these two boxes. And here you have it. I'll show you the bottom of the engine. It looks really clean. I was really happy with it. Um, there's not a whole lot of scratching on it or anything like that. Um, so that's really cool. Put it on the track here and I'll turn it around a couple of times. So I thought it was a really nice engine. The only thing I um, has like a little bit of adhesive on the high spots of the engine. But you can see the back of the engine, it's not any nicks on it, it's really clean there. I just saw a couple other videos and they said that was pretty important. It has the 773 on the side of the engine, um, really nice. It's the 1966 version, it doesn't have the extra little piece here on the front of the engine there. Um, I figured I'd never be able to afford the uh, 1950 version, so like I said, this is the 1966 version. It's in really nice condition. There's not a whole lot of um, scratches on it. As you can see, the um, front opens up. So that's nice and clean in there. And we'll show you the other side. Boy, this engine is really heavy too. I just made this little turntable just to display it. I figured it'll be a little bit easier to show it. Um, yeah, um, so that's pretty nice. Take the tender out. Oh, the flaps are still in this box also. One thing I liked about the tender, um, it's really nice and clean on the bottom. It's like brand new. Show you the bottom of the tender. 
and it has the scoop on it that's backwards. This is the New York Central version. It's not the uh, Pennsylvania one. And another thing about this engine, when I did finally offer the seller um, my only offer that I could afford, um, she said that she wanted it to go to a good home. She didn't want someone just to uh, buy it, double the price, and resell it to someone. So she wanted someone to enjoy it. I guess the... Um, the owner of it recently passed, so they were selling the whole estate collection, and this is what I picked out. So, um, I'll give it a turn one more time around. And, um, try not to knock it off, put any scratches on it. Show you the other side. And there it is, the Lionel uh, 773 Hudson. So, Hope you enjoyed the video, and once again, if there's any tips or uh, tricks or anything I should or should not do with this engine, or the boxes, how I could store the boxes, or should I put them in a plastic bag or just toss them underneath the table the way they are, uh, that would be great. Let me know. So I'm going to really enjoy this engine, probably build a little siding for it and a little shed, keep the dust off it when it's not in use, and I'm really happy to add it to my collection. Thanks a lot for watching Ray's Rails. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.